One of the most confusing sectors in the health industry is nutrition, right? We hear all these diet crazes with vegan being the only way, carnivore, keto, all that stuff, right? And especially tied to this is fats. What are considered good fats? What are considered bad fats? What is the optimal amount of fat? That is what I'm gonna be tapping into in this video right here, is how you can optimize your fat intake, your dietary fat intake, so you can live optimally. You can have balanced hormones, robust energy dust till dawn, and achieve your healthiest physique. Hello friends, my name is Christian Van Camp, a holistic lifestyle and performance coach. So let's just dive right into this fat craze stuff, right? First off, screw diets, okay? Let's just not talk about diets in this video. We're gonna be talking about optimal living here. And optimal living is not tied to a diet and living and breathing based upon that diet. There's a lot of cults out there preaching carnivores the way and everyone should be carnivore or everyone should be fully vegan and plant-based because that's good for your health and the environment. It's like, that's a little dicey game to play, so I'm not gonna play that game today. What we're gonna be tapping into today are fats that are optimal, not so optimal, and how you can balance it in your diet. So let's start off with fats that are not so good for your health. Number one that you need to just get rid of to in its totality, canola, right? Just get rid of canola. On top of that, soybean, sunflower, safflower. Those main guys are super detrimental to your health. They cause rapid oxidation. They are considered PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids. Basically, these have multiple chains in them and they're extremely hard to break down. The body just doesn't know how to metabolize them pro properly. And so they cause these free radicals to be cascaded throughout our body, therefore causing us lethargy, metabolic issues, fat gain, brain fog, all that horrible stuff. So cut out those fats. Look up PUFAs online and get more details on it. They're not good for us, right? They're loaded up with omega-6 fatty acids. Our diet in America is comprised too much of these omega-6s, which are pro-inflammatory. We need more omega-3s. Now those omega-3s coming from fatty cold water fish, such as sardines, mackerel, anchovies, salmon, and herring, SMASH, think SMASH, that acronym is really helpful. Eat more of those on a weekly basis. Two to three times a week, get four to eight ounces of those fish on a weekly basis to counteract those effects. And so you can live longer and healthier and more vibrant. And the ratio is 20 to one right now, omega-6s to omega-3s. That is way too much omega-6. Our ancient ancestors would roam around, they would not be eating tons of nuts and seeds, which are high in omega-6s. They would not be eating uh, a drenched amount of this canola, sunflower, safflower, soybean. They would not be eating that stuff in high amounts. Sparingly they would, and then the bulk of their diet would be in these grass-fed animals, which would be roaming the plains. They'd, it'd be high in, um, which include high amounts of omega threes. Um, you know, they'd be eating cold, those fish, right? So it's important to recognize we need to shoot for a four to one ratio, omega six to omega three to live optimally. Around that range is great. So you can have clear skin, vibrant energy, balanced hormones, high testosterone, all those amazing things. On top of these fats, these oils that we need to remove completely from our diet, these industrial seed oils, we should also get rid of trans fats. These are hydrogenated fats. They have extra hydrogens added to these chains synthetically by man. So we need to keep in mind that these are not optimal for our health, hydrogenated fats. These are found in a lot of different processed foods, ranging from Jif peanut butter, Peter Pan, those kind of peanut butters, to you know any sort of random snacks out there, like even I believe Oreos have some in it. So we just have to be careful with the hydrogenated fats. Read the label, guys. That's the number one thing you can do to optimize your life is start reading the ingredients label and looking for um, you know certain words like hydrogenated fat or something along those lines. They won't specify trans fats, but they will say hydrogenated. So keep your eyes peeled for that fat as well. On top of all this, we just need to buy a balance. We just need to balance our dietary fats overall coming from all sorts of foods. I mentioned nuts and seeds. Back in the day, we would not gorge down on nuts and seeds. We'd have a fine balance uh, between fish, nuts and seeds as well. So we need to really hyper-focus on how much we're putting on our plate and putting it in our belly. So now let's dive into healthy fats. This is the fun stuff, right? 
So healthy fats, let's start off with monounsaturated fats coming from olive oil and avocado. These are great. Get more olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on a daily basis. There's a lot of studies out there showing that it actually promotes fat loss just getting one to three tablespoons on a daily basis from a quality source. So get it organic, organic, organic. Get cold pressed if possible and single sourced, not from multiple locations, right? Focus on simplicity so it's just from Greece, not from Spain, Greece, Portugal, and all these places, right? Avocado is also super rich in these monounsaturated fats. Why consume more monounsaturated fats? Our bodies knows what to do with it, right? Too many polyunsaturated fats, the PUFAs, are extremely oxidizing, like I mentioned, so it's important to get some of these antioxidant loaded monounsaturated fats in olive oil and, and avocado, for instance. On top of this, let's incorporate more healthy fats from saturated fats. There's a lot of dogmatic crap out there saying saturated fats clog our arteries and cause all sorts of issues. That is not the case. I get my blood work done regularly and I eat a high saturated fat diet. But here's the deal. These are the saturated fats you should focus on. Coconut oil and animal fats such as butter, grass-fed butter, so it's higher in omega-3s as well, grass-fed butter, ghee, which is clarified butter, and on top of that, some animal fats that are chock full of it too. Tallow, you know, grass-fed beef is chock full of these healthy saturated fats. Some types of bacon, some types of pork, if they're grass-fed and regeneratively grown. That stuff is optimal for your health. So focus on the healthy saturated fats. Our brain is made of saturated fats. So if we aren't getting proper intake of saturated fats, we're actually gonna deplete our IQ. It's really wild. So that covered the basics of healthy fats, bad fats. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, how much fat is necessary for an optimal diet. Personally, I'd aim for this kind of idea. Aim for a variety of fats. Aim for a variety all the time, every day. Don't just hyper-focus on coconut oil all the time with your eggs. Spice it up, change it up with avocado oil, olive oil, uh, maybe add in some butter or ghee that's grass-fed, right? Get a wide variety of fats in from a range of sources. Saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, unsaturated fats, things along those lines so you can have your body be equipped with the fuel it needs. The amount you need is based upon the individual, so it's hard to say how much you really need. Personally, I have a high fat diet, 30 to 40% in my diet. So me being at 180 pounds, I have like over 100 grams of fat every single day. And I feel amazing to it. This morning, for instance, I had my coffee with some grass-fed butter, about a tablespoon. Didn't eat for another three hours. And then later on, I had a meal loaded up with coconut oil. And you know, later on tonight, I'll have some grass-fed beef chock full of the omega-3s and some other good stuff. So just make sure you prioritize the healthy fats and I'm sure you will slim off the weight. You don't need to hyper-focus on calories. That is the last thing you need to put your focal point on. So I'm not eating fats right now, but I am enjoying some blueberries. Mm. These are some incredible wild blueberries. Let them thaw out. Frozen wild blueberries, like candy, guys. It's phenomenal. Anyways, I hope you got some benefit out of this video. If you found some benefit learning more about the fats and how fats don't make you fat, but prioritizing the fats, the healthy ones, please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so you can stay up to date on all the amazing videos that got coming out to help you optimize your essence and live a more fruitful life with balanced hormones, healthy gut, you know, high metabolism, high energy, all that amazing stuff we want because a healthy life, we all want that, right? No one wants to be unhealthy, no one wants to be overweight. We want to live with a sharp mind and a sharp spirit. So, like I said, subscribe, like, all that weird stuff you do on YouTube. Um, share it with a friend if you got some benefit and I'll see you guys on the other side.